Okay, what I'd like to explain here is initial versus ultimate stability and how it relates to hull design. So I've taken, I've taken two different hull designs, basically at the extreme ends, and uh, just to compare. So what I have here is a displacement barge and uh, something that can be used as a work platform. And you'll see that in marine construction a lot of times, you'll see a displacement barge. And uh, that's because it makes a nice stable platform, okay? Now over here, you would have a round bottom uh, full displacement sailing vessel, okay? Now, the initial stability of the barge is actually really high. It takes a lot to get that barge to tip. So that's why it makes a really good working platform, okay? Um, yeah, when you have heavy equipment or other heavy items on the barge, you don't want that barge to rock a, a lot because you don't want any of that stuff falling over and hurting anybody or even falling off the barge into the water. So you want a nice stable platform. Now the sailing vessel, it doesn't really matter if it's rocking a whole lot, um, but you just don't want it to tip all the way over. But the sailing vessel, it's really easy to get it to start to tip. And the main reason why is because when you consider the riding arm, okay? So when we start, go from zero degrees of, of healing on the barge, okay, zero degrees, and then we go to 20 degrees, right away the, the center of buoyancy shifts way over to the one end of the barge, okay? So that gives us a really large riding arm. Okay, now the sailboat, when we go from zero degrees to 20 degrees, we tip it a little bit, the center of buoyancy doesn't shift that far because it's a fairly narrow hull and it's a round bottom, the profile underwater, it doesn't really change a whole lot. So the displacement shape doesn't change as it tips. So it has a very small riding arm, that's just initially, so 20 degrees. So when you're talking about this amount of, of, uh, of healing of a, of a hull, this is definitely going to be more stable in the initial sense. However, as that barge starts to go over, when you get to 90 degrees, you have little to no riding arm, okay? Because the, the center of buoyancy will no longer shift, it just shifts down, if anything, but it doesn't go side to side, and therefore it does not provide a very large riding, uh, riding arm. However, our sailing vessel over here a round bottom full displacement sailing vessel goes to 90 degrees, the, the center of buoyancy has shifted way over because it's a fairly deep hull and thus it provides a very large riding arm or at least a, a large enough riding arm to, to help bring her back up. Okay, So that's why on the barge if you get to 90 degrees she probably isn't coming back. Over here she probably will come back. And that's why if you need a nice stable platform, a lot of initial stability, and you're going to be working in calm waters, a barge is a good thing to have. But if you're going to be going out on the high seas, you don't want to take a barge with you, generally. Um, however, for the high seas, you could have something like this. So if you had a big wave or something that, uh, or a lot of wind that knocked the vessel over, she will come back. So that's the difference between initial and ultimate stability. So initial is it's hard to get it to tip initially and uh, ultimate stability is once she's gone over she'll come back easier. So it's hard to keep her over really far.